Hi, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations, and this is a video that will give you a good overview of this Sankyo Azuma Pachinko machine. I'm not sure of the date. My best guess is mid-70s. This is typically the, the time frame that most of these machines are from. The uh, inspection sticker doesn't have the number on it that uh, I would be able to tell the, the exact year of manufacture, but more than likely 74, 75, sometime in that time frame. Uh, this machine has been completely restored, uh, not just cleaned, but completely torn apart. Every bit and piece you see on the machine has gone through a cleaning process of, of one sort or another. Uh, the Formica is all nice and clean. All of the metal has been scrubbed back down. There's no rust on it. It's smooth. It's been polished. All the plastic has been thoroughly cleaned. These machines get very, very dirty from uh, years in the pachinko parlors and years of being stored in garages and uh, basements and attics and so on and so forth. Um, and the only way that you can ensure that they will function uh, as they should is to make sure that they're extremely clean. There's no electronics, it's all mechanical, so every mechanical aspect of the machine has to be perfect. This is plexiglass here. Some machines do have glass, but most of the time the glass gets broken and replaced with plexiglass. Uh, this is called the Playfield. It's, again, it's clean, it's smooth, the stainless steel rails have been taken off, cleaned, polished, put back on. Everything that you see here has come off the machine, been torn apart, thoroughly cleaned, put back on, the brass gets polished back up. All of the nails go through a, a tumbling process to get the uh, brass nice and clean and shiny again. They're all nailed back onto the board and uh, checked with an alignment tool to make sure that the pachinko balls don't get hung up as they drop down through the pins. Again, this is all, all done by gravity. And see how nice and clean it is here on the inside. This is the ball handling mechanism that feeds the balls down into the machine one at a time for launching. Uh, the wood of this machine has been sanded and polyurethaned. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that when I show you the back. So that's what it looks like from the front. Uh, this was actually an ashtray. Uh, this is the, the launch, the upper and the lower tray. So let me turn it around and I'll show you how we load pachinko balls into it and then show you the machine in action. Again, everything you see here has come off of the machine, all of the plastic parts. It's mostly plastic parts on the back side. These have all been taken off individually. All, all the mechanisms in here are taken apart individually, cleaned. If they're brass, they get polished. Um, a lot of the pivot pins on these things are brass. They get corroded, so they have to be cleaned individually. All of the metal down in here tends to rust. It's all been cleaned. While everything is off of the board, this board, um, that board gets sanded down and uh, two coats of polyurethane uh, applied to it so that it stays nice and smooth, clean, and will not absorb moisture and warp. Uh, I also polyurethane uh, the front side of the, the wood part of the machine. This frame here is made of red mahogany. Uh, it's a fairly rare wood now. Back uh, in the in the 70s, it was it was pretty pop, uh, pretty abundant over in, in Japan and those areas. Uh, not so much today. The Japanese mass produced these machines and and were very um, quick and rough with them, so that the boards and all of these cutouts tended to be very rough. Um, I've done a lot of sanding on the machine to get everything sanded down nice and smooth. I run these boards through a planer to get them nice and smooth and and straight again and it uh, gets all of the dirt and everything off of them so that you can see that nice red mahogany and again a couple of coats of polyurethane. So I'm going to uh, load the machine up with some pachinko balls. Before I do that I'll install the power source. Uh, there are two lights on the machine. There's one light inside the jackpot chamber and there's um, another light. Where the heck is it? Oh right there. <laughs> the other light's right there. So I will power this up with my 9-volt battery. 
set that in there. And right now the jackpot light is on. It's not supposed to be. And this light, this light is actually on. It's hard to see, but it's it's on in there. So what that says is there's not any, there's no balls or not enough balls in the machine. So we're going to load the machine up with with balls. So they're Placed in the upper hopper, they go down through a double run, and when there's enough weight in there, it brings this down so that it it turns this switch off so that this light bulb is, is no longer lit. So that lets you know that you have enough balls in the machine to play. So balls here go down seven on either side of what's called the jackpot chamber. When you do win, uh, the jackpot chamber releases and drops 14 balls out of the machine. They bang off the bell and go out the front of the machine. A losing ball will drop out of the machine right through this chute here. You do need to have a what's called a catch box or a, to catch the balls as they drop out of the machine. That is included so you don't have to worry about it. So now we've got the catch box in place. We've got plenty of balls in the pachinko machine. So we'll turn it around again and show you the machine in action. Uh, if you do decide to buy this machine, one of the next things you're going to want to do is go back to eBay and pick up some pachinko balls and the best way to do that is simply do a sort do a search on pachinko balls and then sort for lowest price plus shipping and buy those buy anywhere from three to five hundred uh, they're all the same there's there's no difference in the pachinko balls unless you decide to get the gold ones which cost a little bit more so as a player, you would put some, some balls in the upper tray, and what you're trying to do is bet one ball, launch one ball, betting that it will drop into one of these areas, and that would pay you 14 balls. So the first what time will not launch a ball. It takes one cycle to get a ball inside the machine, and then this is how the balls are launched, and we'll see if we can get lucky and get them in one of the pay pockets. The nice thing about Pachinko is that it really takes no skill whatsoever. So any anybody of any age can play from the smallest child to the oldest adult. There is some technique involved but no real skill. Okay so that's that's the way I prefer to play. The Japanese will play more like this. where they just launch multiple balls as fast as they can. So obviously in the video we didn't get lucky, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. So upon launching a ball and it dropping into one of the pay pockets, a light will light and balls will come out as a prize. And I'm going to open this one. All right, so now we've got the three tulips open, and they're much easier to win now that the, the tulips are open. Okay. The tension on the, the launch spring is adjustable. Right. A little delayed reaction there. So you can adjust the tension on the spring to launch the ball further to the right or further to the left, or you kind of get used to how hard you have to do it here. Again, that's part of the technique of the machine. Uh, again, no skill, just, just all in technique. 
Um, as far as uh, warranties, um, I will, will guarantee the machine to work. When you, once you get it, um, I will help you set it up via phone, uh, FaceTime, Skype, whatever you have, and would be available anytime after that for questions or anything that might arise. Um, I enjoy talking to people about pachinkos. I like to see them work, and uh, you will be happy with this. Uh, that's my guarantee. Uh, we do ship via priority mail. You only pay for the partial post cost and then I insure it for its full value also, and again, that's at my cost. So if you have any questions, please contact me, and uh, hopefully this may end up at your house someday. Thank you.